Brought to you by Almond Auctions, the worldwide leader in antique tractor auctions. When you think of Massey Harris, you usually think of red tractors, but this one is not red. Gary Emsweller from Danville, Indiana. Tell us a little bit about why this one is, uh, what, forest green? Yeah, it's a different color of green. Uh, this is the uh, Massey Harris I-162. Uh, Massey Harris made 25 of these for the Army back in 1953. Uh, this is one of about seven or eight that we know that still exists. Um, it is uh, basically they bought, they used them for tuggers to move equipment around. Uh, we do have pictures of it coming out of, the, out of the factory and it was a very dark colored tractor coming out of the factory as well. So um, I'm comfortable with what the color is. It's not your typical army green, but uh, I trust the computer that it, that it was right. We did it twice as a matter of fact to make sure it was right. But it's a unique tractor. Again, uh, it's a derivative of 1950, uh, the Massey Harris 30 and uh, the differences in it are basically the, the engine and how the Army and all the military wanted their equipment. Uh, has a magneto on it, it's 24 volt, uh, it's got shielded spark plugs and wires on it, so it could stand to almost any temperature and any condition and, and continue to run. So it's a beefy tractor. Uh, the 24 volts, uh, it turns over very quick and uh, we don't have any problem with it starting. But uh, it's a unique tractor. Uh, uh, all the military tractors have hooks on them. Uh, there's plates on the, on the platform that will open up and there's a hook under there so that all these tractors could be picked up with helicopters. And, you know, it was just a, uh, a new unique tractor for Massey Harris and for the Army, really. And so there were 25 of these built way back in 1953 or so. Uh, tell us how you go about verifying that, that it really is what you say it is. Well, uh, we got documentation. And I have a copy of that, this serial number, where it was sent, the date it was built, the date it was delivered. We have all the documentation from the Army through Massa Harris for the, the uh, 162s. So, uh, all 25 of them, we got documentation on all 25 of the drafters. In fact, the number that's on the, the hood is the, the basically the Army serial number for the tractor. It's different than the Massey Harris number, but you can compare that number to the Massey number and they match them through and through. Uh, some, somewhat unique, there's a grill guard in the in the back actually it's a guard for the fan i'm sure it's so that the mechanics wouldn't get their hands in the fan but these are the only tractors we've ever seen that uh, fan guard on but um, just little odd things like that that make it unique and make it fun to find out about obviously our freedom rests on those soldiers who fought for us uh, do you think i guess are you, are you kind of proud is that part of what drives you to want to collect military tractors that uh, or military tractors built by Merrick Massey Harris. Uh, is that part of it? Uh, yeah, and I, I wasn't in the military. This was just my one one small way of saying thank you for those that served our country and uh, the fact that Mer Massey Harris had a deep involvement in the military uh, scene, not only in World War II, but through the Korean War. Uh, uh, it was nice that there's a connection there with uh, Massey Harris and the military. You think Massey Harris thought they were onto something big, providing uh, tractors to the Navy, to the Army, to the Air Force? I'm sure they did. Like, I think they had a relationship with the military, with building the tanks. And the, during World War II, they really shut down the, the tractor factory to build tanks during World War II. And I'm sure Massey had an inside track on it. Let's focus just a little bit more on the I-162. Tell us how it's powered and some of the features that you think uh, would have made it handy for the Army to use back in the 1950s. Well, like I said, it's a, it's a smaller tractor, but uh, um, again, it's got a magneto in it. It's got shielded spark plugs, uh, shielded wiring. Uh, so they could, they could run it in the depth of cold and the heat of the, of the summer, no matter where they were at. Um, we really don't know a whole lot about how they were used other than being a tugger, but uh, um, it's just a small, broody little tractor that uh, they could do a lot with. The rear, the rear uh, wheels on the tractor are cast and very heavy, and again, somewhat unique to the tractor. One of the special deals about all these tractors is uh, the United States military 
put brass tags on all these tractors. And so that gave you an opportunity to cross reference the brass tag to the serial number with the tractor to the yeah. serial number that the Army assigned it. So um, those brass tags are very important when you start talking about military tractors. Well, we're glad you have this I-162 and thanks for sharing the story of, uh, of this tractor. Hey, it's a great, uh, it's got a great history to it and uh, something to be proud of being an American and uh, it's an honor to have them and be, be the caretaker for them for a little while. All right, Gary Emsweller right here in Danville, Indiana, preserving Massey Harris military tractor history.